Well, this is obviously the posh end of town. Very nice properties. This is the Catherine Cookson Court. Catherine Cookson was an author very much associated with the North East and uh, I'm afraid I can't say anything about her because I don't really know anything else. I just remember her books in the shops. There's South Shields answer to the Coliseum. And there's the beach. Right. So if you're doing digging on the beach, you do want to have a very luminous, high visibility vest, just in case uh, somebody can't see you. This road was once the main road. Nice to see not many cars on it now. Ah, there's a gun up there. That's a really nice view of the of the beach at uh, South Shields, looking north, with uh, Tynemouth Castle and Priory at the other side of the entrance to the River Tyne and we have these very long pier structures the, uh, the southern one is about 1,400 meters long completed in 1897 uh, 50 years in the making can't see the Tyne from here but that's the entrance to the River Tyne wonderful large beach and Although it's no longer there, there used to be a colliery up, up there, a coal mine, and I think, I seem to recall from school that it went deep uh, under the sea, and I can't remember much about it though, I can't say anything other than that. It closed though, it was one, I think it was, a, it was one of the last that closed in this, in this region, and uh, coming around, we've got the um, got this funny gun here which uh, orders not to uh, walk on that and uh, touch the gun. And beyond, beyond that, there's uh, the quarry, throw quarry, quarry, which I'm going to have a look at now. Now, the area here was once a quarry although it doesn't really look that way now, although the sides and everything may look a bit unnatural. But this was a quarry first exploited by the Romans and they built their um, fort at Arbea, at South Shields, not so far from here, using materials they dug up from here. And even they exported it, apparently, or took it away from here, I don't know the word export is the right, is the correct uh, and, and somewhere, somewhere there is the remains of a jetty or so, I'm told, but I don't know where. Um, which was used by the Romans to load things. So obviously, after nearly 2,000 years, things tend to get a bit worn out and there's apparently not much there. But it is visible, apparently, the place where things were loaded. I can't see it. Um, now, this was much, much deeper. It was exploited for a very long time, but they, I think they uh, stopped quarrying here uh, sometime just after the Second World War or thereabouts. And uh, from the 50s and 60s, this was used as a landfill site. This was a rubbish dump, effectively. And, you know, they've got a rub rubbish dump next to, next to the sea. Um, anyway, it's been sort of uh, flattened out and... Uh, landscaped and it looks all right now 
and um, so it's very nice for recreational uh, use. Uh, parts of it uh, are deliberately left wild, while others, like over there, it's been cut. So and leave it wild so the animals and birds and uh, what have you uh, think so they think they can come and live here. Right now, this I've got a problem now. There's my bike, my borrowed bike. Anybody got any ideas? How do I get down from here? Look at that. Am I going to get down there with a bicycle? Oh no, that might be that might be easier. Difficult enough without a bicycle. Um, oh dear. I'm going, to, I'm going to get down here now. Uh, unless I take it out into the... No. Out onto the beach and then... Right. I'm going to have to look for somewhere.